Mr. Ray Singleton, this is Miss Olivia Dunn. Livy. Everyone calls me Livy. Ray's sister's waiting in the church. Well, we'll just leave you two to get acquainted a moment. Uh, Raymond, why don't you pour some lemonade for Livy? Yes, ma'am. We'll be in the church when you're ready. Now that you've had a chance to meet me, to see me in person, do you have any doubts? Uh, no, ma'am. Are you, uh... <clears throat> Are you having second thoughts? No. Do you think you'll be able to love the baby? Well, I do. Is there anything that you'd like to ask me? No. You're so fine, I can't believe no man. I can't believe any man would ever do this to you. And do you, Raymond, take Olivia to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. The rings? I don't have a ring. I don't, I don't need one. It's fine. <sighs> fine. Bound by these sacred bonds, may you vow to imitate Christ in your new life together. To give one another hope when there is sorrow, strength when there is weakness, faith and understanding when there is confusion or doubt. In such a love, we are sustained on this earthly life, just as we hope for eternal life through our Savior, Jesus Christ. I now pronounce you man and wife. Martha, Hank, if you'd please sign as witnesses. Congratulations, Ray. I'm Martha. Pleased to meet you. This is my husband, Hank. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. We hesitated to bring the children today. Thought we'd give you a chance to settle in. And... Oh, Ray, hold on. This is, a... this is a little casserole for supper. I thought you must be tired from all your traveling. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. Now, Ray, you bring Olivia over to see us real soon, okay? Welcome to the family, huh? Who are your neighbors? Hmm? Your neighbors, who are they? Uh, well, my sister. <clears throat> she and Hank live eight miles that way.
here. Is that garden your mother's? Uh, yes, it was. Someone sounds unhappy. Uh, it's just a dog. Put him in the shed so he won't jump on you. and Wilson outside the post office. Tomorrow I'll get anything you want to stock the kitchen. I don't really know how to cook. I mean, I could, I just haven't really tried. Cook a fair bit. My sister could come over and teach her. No, I, it's fine. You know, it, it shouldn't be that hard. I can get a book from the library. Is there a library? Oh, yeah, in La Hunter. That's an hour away. Yeah, about that. The Reverend said you'd had lots of schooling. I was in graduate school, studying archaeology. My college thesis was Heinrich Schliemann's Excavation of Troy. Is he German? Yes. Is he a Nazi? No, he, he lived in the 19th century. Mrs. Pratt from church. She, uh, she makes me a cake nearly every week. This one's uh, chocolate, I think. Can I cut you a slice? No, thank you. We'll save it. Ray. Um. 
was just wondering why you agreed to this. When the Reverend came out to see me and told me about your situation, I thought. I thought maybe it'd be God's will. God's will. You want anything else? No, thank you. The farmers get to bed early. You have everything you need. Yes, thank you. All right. Good night. Slept so late. You needed your rest. <laughs> Franklin, no. Hey, come here. Come here. He won't hurt you. Good boy. I thought I'd drive into La Hunter today. Maybe look around town, let the family know that I'm here. Can I borrow the truck? Oh, well, uh, beatbox has a mind of its own. A beatbox? <laughs> I use that truck to haul my beats. Hey. It's best if I drive you over. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you have things you need to do. No bother. I'm glad to do it. Just uh, get my library card. In case you want to check out some cookbooks. Are those tomatoes? Potatoes. Some of the fields are empty. You bet. Why? Uh, well, we harvested the first cash crop, winter wheat. Next, we'll harvest some beets and those potatoes. May I help? Well, I doubt it. You're right. I, I don't know anything about farming. <laughs> You got the house to take care of. Need any change? Uh, no, I have it, thank you. I'll be in the library. Expecting a little one? Yes, ma'am, we are. Oh, wonderful. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any books on Henry Schliemann? Is that S H or S C H? I guess is better than mine. I think he was an archaeologist. Let me have a look. If father.